Robotic human surrogates are making our world a safer place. The core idea of surrogates is about this technology that allows us to be in the safety and comfort of our own homes and yet experience life vicariously because a robot is doing it for us. You have a fully functioning robot, but one that has skin that feels like skin and has eyes that look like eyes and to all intents and purposes looks like a human. You can sort of look however you want. So you could be a man, you could be a woman, you could be a child. We're living pseudo lives, but the real person is at home controlling this. Essentially, they're in a world without consequences. Surreys have jumped from bridges, been shot, even blown to bits without the least bit of harm to their operators. The future world of the surrogates that I created in the graphic novel was very much like modern day, except you just have surrogates. Bruce Willis plays an FBI agent, but of course he stays at home in the safety of his apartment and allows his robotic surrogate to go out and perform all the dangerous tasks that involve with being an FBI agent. I get to do both things. I get to be a surrogate. I get to be human me. People identify with the story immediately because they see it in their own lives. It's not that different to how we're living anyway. A lot of us are sort of living in this sort of cyber world, texting each other, or living on the internet. I think we can all relate to that feeling of technology kind of spiraling out of control and robbing a little bit of our actual humanity. Can I stop this? The true science fiction classics have always been set in alternative worlds, and yet in it we recognize something about the human experience that feels very, very truthful. And that's the great power of this film. What happens now?